Hello guys! Uh, good afternoon! Good morning po sa iba dyan. At dito po sa Australia ay eh, mga ala around uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon already. And hopefully uh, tayo po dyan sa Pilipinas ay nagla-lunch o kaya sa ibang bansa po uh, binabati ko po kayo ng magandang araw at magandang gabi. Okay po dito here in Australia is 3 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, I hope uh, everyone around the world is uh, watching me and hopefully you would enjoy it and uh, thank you very much sa mga subscriber ko the subscriber of Maria J. Uh, Ryerson uh, Survival Instinct uh, I'm happy to uh, announce that every month we're going to have a raffle draw of 50 square meter uh, of uh, lot uh, at ang gagawin na po ninyo ay sumali po kayo sa uh, super chat Super chat po dyan sa Pilipinas, the minimum is uh, 50 pesos I think and in Australia maybe 2 dollars, uh, 1 dollar. All you have to do is um, just, uh, you know, uh, log into to your, uh, to my channel and and push and click the button at underneath the super chat. And the super chat po, uh, I could see you registered and then that's the, that's the one that I'm gonna put in the raffle draw. Uh, on the date now we're going to have uh, a live uh, uh, live streaming uh, raffle draw at also paangat in my youtube channel okay po uh, at sa mga araw-araw po meron na tayong show uh, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon in the Philippines and 6 o'clock 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 o'clock in Australia that is already every day and we're gonna start uh Monday, I think that's tomorrow with Kathy Cruz and uh, every day we have a new guest uh, uh, natutulungan po natin na we gonna help para po sa show natin and hopefully everyone gonna uh, log into it and watch it. Okay, thank you guys. Now we're gonna start reading our last portion of, uh, of the book which is the Black Prince and the Unicorn. And the last one, the last time we read about it is Tatiana having her 18th birthday and also the father announced that she is going to be married to someone else uh, from the, the prince from the other uh, other kingdom okay and uh, I think uh, all you have to do if you haven't uh, watched the the part one the, that I have read that I have read just go back to it and then uh, uh, so that it's much easier for you to understand kung if you already uh, listen to the part one okay the first uh, reading of the book okay now we're gonna read now the other part of the book and hopefully you would enjoy it and I'll try to finish it today uh, so that uh, was this it's uh, we're gonna start for another another book later on okay Princess Tatiana love letters Tata Tatiana lying in bed what to do thinking what she's going to do she will be 18 in the few days to come. She wrote the letter to Ricardo and wonder if he reading it now. Ricardo reading it loudly on top of his lonely bed. My love, I have noticed that you haven't read my previous message sent to you by the tree. I inserted my last letter to you a few days ago after our visit at the cave. I knew I knew you haven't read them for sure of no mention about it tonight during our walk in the garden. Ricardo hasn't finished it and jump out into bed, into the barn, and ride to get that letters that Princess Tatiana intended for him. In the quiet of the night, she can hear the ho the horse the horses just a minute guys ah. she can hear the horses sound galloping in the dark now wonder now she wonder if that's ricardo going to get the letter she wrote a few nights ago before tatiana 8th birthday she planned and arranged arranged to meet ricardo that night near the big tree close to the castle but he didn't come so she felt she left the message to ricardo Stated, my love, I wander every night in my sleep without you by my side. I have to tell you that 
I have to go. I have to go think about you and me now. I will be 18. Soon I am ready to commit myself to you. I want you and only you in my life, my love. So, wait for me in our rendezvous the night before my 18th birthday. Wait for me there. I will be with you, my love. It's time I will give myself to you. The full moon and the unicorn are the witness of our union. See you there, my love. I love you from your Princess Tatiana. Ricardo and Princess Tatiana. The castle, you can hear music. And Ricardo Tatiana, nowhere to be found. Her four sister wander to the woods and look for her, for her, look for her there, but thinking they don't want to be found. So they let it go and go back to their chamber and get ready for the big events tonight. Princess Tatiana and Ricardo are so deeply affected by love as to not to be acting normally. In front of the king and the queen, the only sources they can do meet it, they could meet in secret. They both love one another for so many years and devoted to each other and tonight that promise to each other will be fulfilled. Princess Tatiana are waiting as if that she's she'd been waiting there forever. They are express they have expressed their love in so many ways, but tonight will be different to both of them. She certainly she certain that which of those she can do to prove to Ricardo that he loves him dearly. He loves her love for Ricardo makes her world go round. Every day she thinks of him when she wakes up in the morning and before she goes to sleep at night. It's getting dark. She could hear the bat inside the cave play, uh, flying out to witness the sunset and looking for dark, darkness but in the night. Princess Tatiana here pa uh, here pumping of the anti pumping of anticipation and longing for Ricardo embrace in her heart desire to be intimate and to be lover Ricardo and tonight she will give in to everything her heart desire. She was longing for this moment. She dreamed about intimacy and love. Her dreams for merits giving herself to Ricardo isn't but it's it's a bless, but it's hard to believe in anything else when you are in love. Princess, are you here? Ricardo whispered into the opening side of the cave. I'm here, Ricardo. He comes to her, they kiss. He comes to her and they kiss hard as they could not not to notice the arrival of the unicorn down below the waterfall. My princess Tatiana, how long you've been waiting for me? Ricardo murmuring and kissing her and hugging her tightly. Full of love and longing for this night, the princess inclined. Ricardo, we love each other and I am old enough to do this. I'm in. Tears in her eyes dripping to her rosy face. And Ricardo touches it, touches it and kiss her on the cheek. We believe, my princess, that we are in love for so long now, and I knew this will last forever. We always have the wonderful feeling that we have at this moment is it's more powerful to control. Both touches their faces, and Ricardo kisses the princess's forehead. My princess, if you are not ready, we can stop and wait for another time when we both are ready to commit to each other. Ricardo hug her with concern in his heart. Our love to each other is not for one getting something they want, but doing something for the well-being of one we both love loves doing. Tatiana still in tears and hugging Ricardo, I can wait, my princess. He gesture, he gesture to let go. Don't say no more, Ricardo. She stands and undo her clothes, 
for Ricardo to see her nakedness sparkling from the moonlight. Ricardo closes his eyes and hug her. I love you, my princess. I love you too, Ricardo. And I will promise to love you forever in my heart. She said it with kindness and tenderness in her heart and her body responded genuinely. Genuinely. That expression of love like the night of the unicorn from the bottom of the waterfalls below. The act of their union heard by the unicorn and they look up and disappear into the woods. For hours, they develop an intimate relationship teaching each other's desire to satisfy human needs. They wish to love each other for the rest of their lives. Their body knew what each other was. They spend quality of time touching each other's body, lingering, and heard unicorn down below saying goodbye to the Princess Tatiana. So, no more a virgin and we'll see the unicorn again. They come to the edge of the cliffs and saw the unicorn witnessing their love affair tonight and the same with the moonlight. The attention of the unicorn looking at them and start to disappear to the dark into the woods. Usually, the symbol of love and intimate relationship will come to an end for the princess and the unicorn after the unholy union. They spent another hour of quality time and getting ready to go back to the castle. They wave goodbye and in, the, this, in, the, in a separate way, they both ride their horses back to the castle. It's very sad because this is going to be the last time that Tatiana is going to see the unicorn because she's not a virgin anymore. Ricardo. Princess Tatiana saw, saw the king and queen mingling with the guests and nowhere she could find her poor sister. She ran to her room and changed her clothes for the night of, of her birthday. The princesses assure that the king and the queen is busy entertaining, getting, getting ready on her own. Not that easy. She called the servant to help her. She dresses in fine dancing gown and escapes from her room by a, by a trap door in the room to just, just to see Ricardo before she comes to her party down the castle. And her... And with her surprise, her sisters were waiting for her outside the door. <laughs> we know that you will come this way to, to, uh, to see Ricardo. So we waited. And here we are. Surprise! The poor princess seeing this, donned their magic clock and followed them. Princess Clarita stepped on the, stepped on the gown of the youngest sister whose cry of alarm to her other sister is baffled by the eldest. The pathway lead them to the three grave of trees, the first having the leaves of yellows and the second of silver and the third of glittering diamonds beautiful wild tree around them to the cabin where Ricardo and his parents live. The princess wishing for that their parents will not be looking for them yet. They walk on until they come upon to the great clear little light. They can see there are still guests arriving by boat and the other side of the castle to attend the party of the princess 18th birthday. They stop and look at that. Their prince and princesses appeared walking towards the, towards the garden above them and the other are waiting and chatting. Its princess get into ca into castle and meeting by the king and the queen, and they can see some are soldiers in, in soldiers' uniform step into the into the same room with them. Some are adults and younger princess looking for their escort. The youngest princess complain that the prince doesn't come for fast enough to take her to the party, not knowing the soldier is in the castle already waiting for the younger princess walking towards her. As they hug and walk to the entrance of the castle, on the other side of the little lake stands, 
stand the cabin where they see Ricardo saw the five princes approaching. They walk as fast as they could holding the beautiful uh, the beautiful long and elegant dress. And Tatiana ran into the arms of Ricardo, kissed him without hesitation that her poor sister watching. My princess, you should be at the party dancing celebrated celebrates your 18th birthday, Ricardo said it with concern. My love, can you take me to the party and let me dance with you my first dance? My parents wouldn't mind it, my birthday. It's my birthday and I want you there with me. Okay, let me, let me get my costume for tonight, Ricardo excited face smile to all of them. Go on fast, we can wait for you. The princess giggled a little and moved closer to Tatiana, hold her hands and and pull her away from the cabin towards the garden across the lake. Princess Clarita looking at the sky, the moon shadow looking towards them. Squishing her hands as the other princess excitedly teasing and congratulating Tatiana of her 18th birthday and her love to Ricardo. They saw Ricardo walking crossing the lake and his skin shine from the reflection of the moonlight. They turn and watch Ricardo walking towards them. Ricardo, a sotor who fulfilled the dreams, his beloved Princess Tatiana. You will describe him as a man of open, spacious charms toward Princess Tatiana. Ricardo, a perfect man who a young woman might longing to be with about meeting and dream about him in her sleep. Tonight, Ricardo became a prince in the eye of the five princes that can face challenges and can protect his queen. One day, he looks great and brave looking tonight. The princess doesn't know how to react in front of him. Instead, they kissed him on the cheek like what the other princes did when they greet the prince to give them company to the dance. Of course. Ricardo win the trust of the five princes. They giggle and Princess Tatiana whisper, Keep calm. Let's go and attend to the guest and meet our father. Princess Clarice Clarita can't resist the beauty of this man and she feels sad in her heart that she can't pursue her passion to be with Ricardo tonight. She just listen and observe quietly what her sister are talking about. She has to set an example to be a loving sister to Tatiana. She tried to stay organized about herself and even though she is hurt, but she just has to keep that to herself for her love to her sister, to her oldest sister. She, she has to let go of her feeling towards Ricardo. It's really sad. It's like a secret love affair in her heart. What the King Emmanuel thinks of Ricardo. They approach the King and the Queen at the entrance of the castle shaking the guest's hands. Looking at her five princess Tatiana look so radiant tonight really look like a queen walking his king beside her. Ricardo look, looks like have some of that qualities of a good king that's include being calm and centered, being decisive and having personal integrity. Being a hardworking, hard working and energetic, you can see it from his posture of a strong warrior in his body built. The king spoke in and noticed him, good man and well spoken. I trust him around the princess. He's able to protect and maintain order with them. She looked and while they are walking, they are walking to the other side of the room in the middle of the crowd. Many and more acknowledge the effort of Ricardo to make his princess laugh like little children. She can still see them giggle, sh sh shakily, shaking hands with people in the crowd. They join into which all the princesses go and dance the night away like never ends. Love Affair 
Ricardo and Princess Tatiana nowhere to be found again. The adventure of their love affair continue on the second time they express their love to each other in her chamber. Goodbyes after the union it's hard for ha it's hard to handle for both of them, but they have no choice to keep the love to each other and in time hopefully the king and the queen will bless them. They kiss and wave goodbye again. Ricardo went back to the cabin and the princess come back to see the guests and dance with them and meet before midnight the prince who is going to marry. Princess George of the other kingdom. The Prince George of another kingdom and the Queen Galena shake hands with the newly seated beautiful princess. Princess Tatiana look at the prince standing beside the queen's mother Galena and the princess admire him so much. Princess Tatiana look at him and thinks that he has so much quality of, of effective leader in the larger kingdom that they had in Africa. With a passion for a cause that is larger than her kingdom. Someone with a dream and a vision that will that will better society and at least some portion of it. A good man with so much talent. Also with passion of beautiful women. A leader that will make the necessary courageous and difficult decision and carry them in action. Now Princess Tatiana thinks of him while they are talking and dancing. Few more things she discovered about the about Prince George that he's very affectionate person of a good effective communicator, which is very important everywhere. But it's very important for he's going to be a good king one day. He can be a good he can be a good problem solving. For a short time, he built a good relationship with the princess. He's building her to trust him but the princess Tatiana striving to return his favor because of her love to Ricardo and her heart was already taken she trusts that his sincerity is real with that of his intention and his and she felt empathy for him the wedding announcement as soon the midnight comes the music stops and the king has spoken my daughter Tatiana, Princess Tatiana, will be marrying Prince George with both parties consent to happen soon. They are free to decide whether to marry in the next full moon. If ever, if either one decline, the marriage will still go ahead. Many abilities can help them that their marriage in time will succeed. However, the best ability is availability for both of parties. The prince will stay in that castle after the party and they make time for each other. So the relationship will naturally get stronger. How many princes and the prince that not close friends at the beginning? Heart grows fonder, my princess. You will have a plenty of time yourself and George together in this castle before the wedding. It gives you the opportunity to enjoy what makes you, you. I knew, I knew that you haven't spent more time together in the past, but you should be spending more, spending time together after tonight. And you should be discussing openly about your feelings and honestly before making commitment in the next full moon. For us have stayed close with despite not spending time around each other like many. If you desire in life to do and live life in your terms, marriage not may not be for them but for the sake of the kingdom. My princess <clears throat> my princess willing to make time for her friends George to be ready for each other tonight both of them are taking significant steps success 
for this wedding of the century at the castle of Wonderland. With that, the king said, The king ends his speech and understood that the castle soon will have a prince to look after Princess Tatiana. Princess Tatiana stand close to his father, sighed in shock with the, with the marriage proposal. Father, I still need time for myself to think all this. We all heard your princess. Prince George present will make the will make the heart grow fonder, my princess. You will have plenty of time and George together in this castle before the wedding. It gives you an opportunity opportunity to enjoy what makes you you. I know that you haven't spent more time together in the past, but you should be spending more time together after tonight. You should be discussing openly about your feeling honestly before making commitment in the next full moon. The gift. Then everything happened just as before, except that on the third night while George carries away the gift as token of where he has been in his kingdom. When it's come from the bottom of his heart, his heart, he tries to make time for the princess to love him. For him, he declared to the princess that, she, that he secretly admired her beauty from the distance. That he, goes, that he goes before to the king with the three gifts, the few dozens of gold bar, and tells the king about all he has been in love with princess already and willing to be with, with her. The princesses knew that there is no use in denying the truth and confessed. But the next full moon is very near and the king and the queen need to know that she is in love with Ricardo. Prince George, his choice to marry the first eldest, daughter, eldest princess and want her as his bride for he is not a very young man anymore. She could give him a child to inherit the throne, and she could make him the king our heir as soon as possible. The prince is put under a, a curse. He's not sleeping, thinking about the beautiful Princess Tatiana, thinking about the first night and this many night as he dances with the Princess Tatiana at breakfast and in the garden. The other side of the castle by the lake, Ricardo from the distance watching them. Heartbroken, it's impossible for Ricardo to approach the princess while having a quality time with the most powerful prince in the other kingdom. Princess Clarissa took look at Tatiana with compassion. She looked radiant but not happy tonight. She's not inspired talking Talking, talking the family of Prince George, feeling sorry for her eldest, eldest sister Tatiana. Princess Tatiana excused herself to be in her chamber early tonight. The Queen and Princess Tatiana. Before everyone start looking for her, she found a way to get away to ride her horse to the place she could have peace and leave another letter to Ricardo. But not everyone has it noticed her. Her mother does saw her leaving and follow her. Princess Tatiana on her way back to the castle and saw her mother, the queen, riding towards her and they both stopped. They both get off their horses and found a place close to the waterfalls but closer to the castle. Princess, you're my daughter and I love you whatever bothers you can tell me. Nothing matters, I would not understand you. The queen talking that comes from her heart. Mother, I am in love with Ricardo and I want to be with him and my heart tells me to refuse this marriage to Prince George. Tears running down from Prince's face and body shaking in desperation that her mother could understand her. My poor child, I knew how you're feeling. Hugging her closer to her, she she can hear she can heard her daughter's heart breathing, so hard of despair, longing for her blessing, 
not to agree with the king. Princess, look at me. Our only hope to maintain the castle is for you to marry Princess George, and by then, when your father retired, you can have a strong king that will stand beside you and will support you and your sister until they marry themselves. There can stop dripping. The queen holds her daughter and nothing said can say to to stop the tears. The queen holds her daughter until tears no more. They ride to the castle and the princess agreed to marry the Prince George of other kingdom. The king and the queen talk about what's good for the princess, so they will send her away to marry the Prince George of another kingdom. Goodbye, my love. The last couple of days, Princess Tatiana stayed in her room most of the time thinking what to do but she can refuse the king and the queen and it's her duty as the oldest to save the family's legacy. The princess is thinking loudly, yes, being royal princess and that's me. My first priority is my people. I knew that mother. Princess Tatiana is a good princess and kind-hearted one. Years in the past until today has entailed pretty standardly that our noble parents managed to marry me off to a princess prince because of my otherworthy beauty future politics alliance my families would enjoy and also to enhance the family names to marry the king's son i am a princess and i don't have to come with a pretty standard set of skill which aren't exactly taught in my childhood I'm educated only in the castle and I have experience riding horses around the castle and all around cooking pies and look after myself in my own castle. What else I could do to help this castle survive? Teary eyes of the princess she can't hide no more. Lying down to the top of the list of these luxurious things in life and nothing she can do but to obey her parents wishes. Thinking about Ricardo feeling so sad again, she closed her eyes and went to sleep. Princess Tatiana hasn't visited her family after the wedding. Her first life is different now. Other than the princess visited only the closest part of his kingdom and knew at least a possible amount of native language around the castle, she learned good language from her castle. She learned European language, French, Spanish, which are taught in their private tutor around the castle as a child. Man passes by, Prince George and Princess Tatiana declared that she's having a child. The whole castle gave a party to Thanksgiving for the coming birth of the prince and the prince's son. The neighboring castle give, give gift to the unborn son and letter coming from Castle of Wonderland congratulating them for the, for the success of having a prince in the other kingdom. Princess Tatiana married the prince. The next few days she faces his, his prince, George, and accepts his proposal to be his wife of This is uh, supposed to be on the, on the, on the, on before the other one, okay? But it's okay, we'll read this. The next few days, she, fa she, she faces Prince George and accepts his proposal to be his wife in the next full moon for her wishes that they will marry in the castle. They got married and invited all the prince and the princess around the world and it's very happy couple, day, couple of days of all invited guests and the king and queen of her castle congratulate both the newly wedded couple, the future king and queen of both castle, the other kingdom and the wonderland. They are also happy for his big event for the Princess Tatiana thinking that Ricardo is doing along the castle. After they get married and the princess duties will require you to give 
to give a heir to the to the throne, and it should be a son to inherit the kingdom. Princess Tatiana thinks about what happened before her wedding to Prince George, that she rendered herself to Ricardo second time before her 18th birthday, and this could be his son. She needs to tell the prince before the birth of this son. Guys, I just have to arrange it a little bit. Something happened yesterday, I think. Okay, that one there, and this one should be here. Princess Tatiana has an invited her family after the wedding for her different life is different now. After that, Princess visited only closest part of her kingdom. We already read that. Sorry guys, it's been, you know. The truth about the pregnancy. After dinner, she lightened some candles in their chamber and make herself pretty. For the prince will be with her that night. What a beautiful night, my beautiful wife, Tatiana. I can tell in the next full moon we are going to have our first born son. So happy having her beautiful princess. Princess Tatiana hold his hands and guide them to her protruding body moving inside her. What a kick, my son. They both giggle to the moving child inside Tatiana. Princess Tatiana holds his friend's face my friends, I am scared that this baby could be Ricardo. The friend saw the tears in her, in her eyes dripping like a waterfall that she can control. Stop that nonsense and stop that tears. Hugging, his, hugging her wife lovingly and kissed her. What are you scaring for, my princess? And whatever happened that is my son. I will protect you both as long as I am alive. Lovingly, they both hug and kiss wildly and made love. The Visitor The morning comes and the prince and the princess been called out for breakfast in the garden with the king and the queen of Wonderland. What a surprise to visit the visit Princess Tatiana and together with her four sister, but no Ricardo as their escort. The come they come to congratulate them with the coming birth of the new prince and told Tatiana that her sister, Princess Clarita, will marry Ricardo in the full moon and she will be happy if Tatiana could come to the wedding. Part of her heart is still loves, still loves Ricardo but her life now is with Prince George and, and she learned to love him and he's a good husband and take care and take her and Ricardo's son as his own. So, she will be happy for her sister marrying the previous love of her life, Ricardo. She waved to her four sister and promised and promise to be at the wedding to witness the union of both people she loves most. She didn't go to the re for the reason that she's giving birth to Prince George's son. The black prince is born. Princess Tatiana gave birth to a black baby boy and called him Jeremiah. The new breed of royal black baby boy has arrived. And this is visible symbol of life challenges in Princess Tatiana's life. To the racial upper hand there is an official of racial segregation practice in the Republic of South Africa and that involved in the politics, legal, and economic discrimination against non-whites non -whites enforced in Prince George's royal bloodlines for centuries. Who will protect them in the eyes of the royal families and other neighboring castles? The, ma the mother Prince George's Queen Galena was surprised that his son will love the child which belongs to the black slave of the castle of Wonderland. But she can do anything. It's his son's decision to raise the child as his own and declare him as his heir to the throne one day. The war. 
the prince has to go away to fight for a few months to protect the castle and come back to her loving beautiful princess Tatiana. Princess Tatiana give birth, give, get her pregnant again and have twins girls and name them Princess Margarita and Princess Angelica. The war erupted and prince has to go away for the second time. Princess Tatiana's punishment. Every time the Prince George go away, Queen Galena has to separate Princess Tatiana to sleep with the servant to punish her of deceiving his son and have a black baby. But the Prince accepted Tatiana's mistake but still love her as the first time she ever saw her. Princess Tatiana learned the life as a servant and at, the, and at night she has to read and dance with them in the servant's quarter, I still treat her like a princess of the castle. They gathered all pillows to give comfort to the princess at night and she had to read to the children of the servants. One night, the queens inspect where the noise came from. However, someone outside alarmed the princess. Queen Galena is coming to investigate them. Everyone has to rush back to their own bed and each has to gather the pillows which made up for the Princess Tatiana's bed. The Queen saw the children playing and dancing and the Princess is watching them. The Queen demands to stop all the nonsense. They are awakening the whole palace of the noise. Shut the door and with anger behind her. In the morning, the princess has to help the servants preparing for the meal for the queen and the princess Tatiana, three children. She is just happy to do it so she can see her children. She had to sneak out to the kitchen with the queen not, or not looking to go or away to see her garden. The children play with the, with, the queen, with the queen's servants in the garden and the princess has to watch them from the servant's partner, tears of sadness and separated from her three children. She can wait for the arrival of the Prince George to defend her. A year has come, Jeremiah now turned five years old and the twin is three years old. The prince been locked up away, the princess been locked up away from her children for almost three years and the princess still didn't come back home. One night, the princess lying in bed wondering how her own family going and her poor sister, the night she has been with Ricardo, come to her mind. Her first love and still love of her heart, of her life. And her parents castle after she left, Princess Clarita has the chance with Ricardo. Five years later, Clarita married Ricardo and have a child, a girl, a little black princess and name her Christina Angelica. Christina received a new letter for a new, a new that Princess Clarissa fall down at the horse and died a week later. Now Ricardo is a widow looking after Christina and the other three sisters, now beautiful young princess ready to find friends of their own and soon to be married. Princess Tatiana and the servants at the servants' quarter awakened by the knock on the door as the servants summoned the princess to be at the queen's chamber. Tatiana hurries to think that she's now and be allowed to sing and being with her children at last and the queen has forgiven her. Walking fast and dragging her old, old, old dress, still pretty and looking like a princess. She ran to her three children and hugged them as tight as she could, missing the children tears pouring from her face, from her beautiful face. His son Jeremiah hugged her as tight as she could him. She hugged him. The two twins come slowly to her arms and the queen looking too closely towards them. She's giving them an embrace that a mother supposed to do for a long time missing her children. They all still hugging and the queen come to separate them. Summon the servant to take the children so they can talk alone. The children didn't 
still didn't want to leave her their mother embrace and the queen has to force to separate them and the children now panic and the three of them are crying. The death of the Prince George. The queen walks towards the big window of the tower and the princess saw her crying. Tatiana slowly walked closer to the queen, more move over with her big hateful look towards her. You killed my son. Because of you, he wants to go away, and now he's dead. I will not forgive you ever. You are now forbidden to see your children as long that I am alive. You go back to your chamber to stay away with the children, and I will tell you when are you going to, to go ba going back to serve the castle. That night is not over yet. Taking advantage of that moment, every moment, every minute, I open looking at the children sleeping in her bed his son from ricardo a weekend and she touches her hair mama do not be sad we love you and and whatever happened i will promise i will find a way to be with you and be our mother again he touches the prince's cheek with a smile in his face you are a very strong man as your father as tatiana holds his face with both hands and kiss him on the forehead, cheek and nose. I love you, son. I wish your father are here to protect us. Now, no more. He is not coming back to us anymore. Silent in her mind, Ricardo came back to the princess and hugged, hugged his son. Mother, can I ask you a question? He stand up and walked to the empty big chair along the window of the room. The princess follow him and they sit side by side and his son, Jeremiah. Mother, when are you going to see my real father? I knew I have another father. I am not allowed to mention his name while my father is still alive. But now that he would not be dead, he would be dead. I would like to see my real father. Princess Tatiana hug him and cries that a weekend the twins. They run to sit with their mother as well. Mother, can we join you and hear your story again? The princess and princess and Jeremiah smile and say, Okay, we will. Okay, it settled them. The twins said to both of them, Once upon a time, there was a girl and a boy who lived in the palace. And not for a long time, the three children went back to sleep in the princess's arms. Princess Tatiana lock up for good. The days passed by, the queen summoned the princess again to be locked up for good until she said she died. Time is not enough to say anything to the children that she will be not she will not not be sleeping with them for so long. The only time she could be with, with her children is when the queen is away and without her knowing the servants is finding a way so the princess could be with her three children. It's really sad, isn't it? It has been like this for a few years, but it seems normal to the children that their mother sleeping with the servants and serve them during breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and from time to time be with them when the queen is not around to see that they are with their mother. Princess George arisen from the dead. <sighs> On Jeremiah's eight birthdays, the twin, now six years old, the queen summoned the princess for the third time. A messenger arrived that the Prince George is alive and coming home in the next few days. The queen looked happy but sad for the reason that she has to release Princess Tatiana from lock up at the servant's quarter. The princess has to go back has to go back the bedroom at the bedroom at once. They shared together and pretend that everything is normal and nothing's wrong. The children are so happy for the decision of the queen that they can be with their mother. Anytime soon, their father will be coming home. Everyone in the castle is preparing for banquet for the arrival of the loose friends. Prince George, you have to make the princess beautiful for the prince. 
So all the servants of the castle is busy attending to all the needs of the Princess Tatiana and her three children. The kitchen, the kitchen that the princess is working for the last few years now abandoned by her and she is now in her room and to be pampered and served as a real Princess Tatiana. The triumphant and the dances, dancers ready for the arrival and drinks pouring at the table and the queen and the princess Tatiana and her three children waiting for that precious moment. Looking afar, someone is approaching. The carriage and surrounded with the queen soldiers who met them a few days ago off boundary of the castle. You can see the horses approaching and getting closer. The princess heart is getting excited for her new freedom. The carriage stop at the gate and they salute and the carriage continue towards the castle. Someone coming come down, the prince and the children run to greet their father. They miss, it, they miss to see for almost four years. The prince come down and have the children and the Jeremiah, he challenges for a game fight for his new big young boy at eight years old. He's happy to play that game with his father he only knew all his life. Princess Tatiana approaching and greet the prince, they kiss and hug as the couple and the queen just looking down close to the Prince George, pride of happiness that his son to be king soon has arrived. The other woman. Someone in the carriage, a woman carrying a child, a baby girl, who seems a few months old. Prince introduced her as Princess Kate, the mother of his daughter, Princess Ella Stella. Everyone was shocked, especially the Queen and the Princess Tatiana, but hold her temper as the real princess doesn't it embarrass himself in front of the servants and people that surrounds them, greeting the arrival of the future king. So, they welcomed the other princess going to the chamber of the castle, while the children holding their father's hands guiding to the castle. People whispering what are what are going what is go what are going on. It's there it's is not their business but they are feeling sorry for the princess what life will bring ahead of her new of her now that the future king is bringing another woman into the castle. After the dinner, in the big dinner table, the princess retired to her room and children as well. The future king following her to the newly re renovated room. Looking out the window, the princess was crying as the prince approaching her. She hugged her, feeling sorry for her and his children. My prince, what happened? It has been too long. The queen told me you're dead and now you come home with another woman. She cried uncontrolled now. My future king hold her. The future king hold her and wait until she stopped crying. Carry her to the bed and kissed her, made love to her as if she's still her princess. She cannot deny him. He still he still is her prince. So they made love all night long. In the morning they talk as husband and wife of the castle. The Prince George told the princess that during the war everyone thought he's dead and not finding him. Throw on the ocean then fight and the fight started. The prince survived and someone found him naked. Someone took his garment and took him to the nearest village where they bring him to life and no memories of the past and he was the, that he was the future king. A year ago she found love with another woman who bring him to life and look after him for three years. Her name is Princess Kate and she loves him too. She refused, she refused is not, is his nature. To refuse is not in his nature. And she is the one who look after him for many years at that when he's so sick. He is thankful for her of all her effort putting him to life again. They have to think what to do and good for both of them and the children and the other woman 
who now lived in the castle. The future king told her that she is still the wife and will be his future queen. And, she, and when she dies, Jeremiah will be king, his son, and my future queen. I will, <clears throat> I will raise the, ch the child in the castle and she will be my second wife. But no right to be queen of my kingdom. The princess does not know what to do to fulfill her legacy or deny it and go back to her castle and be with her parents, sister that she needs her now, that needs her now. The king is sick and she needs to be at the castle of Wonderland. She continue her duty as a wife to the prince and the princess of the castle as a mother to her three children. One day she wake up the prince nowhere to be found. in her room. She can hear laughing outside towards the garden. She moved closer to the window and found the future king playing with her three children and new princess child, Ella Stella. The prince brought to the castle. She watched for a while, tears in her eyes, only if he knows what happened, what the queen did for her while she was away, while he was away. However, it doesn't matter now. She can be with her children any time she wants now, but this feeling is worsening. Feeling of jealousy towards the other woman who share his future king is too much to handle. She's thinking of going back to her own castle. Meeting Ricardo and his son. Letters arrive from the castle of the Wonderland and the king is dying and she has to come home to be with him and have to bring the children. She has to tell the Queen Galena and Princess George that she decided to go and take the children with her. The day has come for Jeremiah to meet his biological father and had to know what happened to her sister Clarita who married the card a few years after she got married. On the way to the Wonderland Castle, her heart is beating so fast like before when she's still a young woman in love with Ricardo. Holding his son's hand approaching the castle, it has been so hard. The two of you, the two of them, father and son, look alike. Kissing his son's forehead and the twins notice the tension. Mother, now we can meet your parents and sister again and we hope we could have fun in your castle. The King Emmanuel is dead. Looking so close to the castle, the shadow far away, the sunset binding the prince's eyes, blinding the prince's eyes, but it's beautiful to see trying to disappear behind the castle's trees. The garden is still beautiful to her eyes, the mother, the queen looking after it, as her hobby for so long. She can see the sadness from the peoples around the castle. No music or anything, just people in tears. They are still waving with flowers, but you can't deny, still unhappy for the king's health is deteriorating. The queen and the three sister, Ricardo and the child from her sister Clarita, are waiting for her at the entrance of the castle, all dressed in white, which means the king is dead. And the queen now has no more king. Sad, sad, sad. The queen looking so pale and sadness in Princess Tatiana's heart penetrate deeper, invading, including her soul. Hug her mother so tightly, hoping she'll never leave her castle again. Her three remaining younger sister join them, looking back towards her three children. Her oldest son now discover her real father, Ricardo, and they are now enjoying talking to each other as if he never left his side. The queen playing at the same garden as the five princesses used to play as a child themselves. They all gathered by the center of the king's bedroom in the castle to see the king for the last time. The princess and the queen cries in silence looking at the king's pale dead body the king will be bringing to rest in the next the next days 
The prince and the queen come to attend the saddest day in Tatiana's life, losing his father she loved so much. The new queen. After the funeral of the king, everyone shall proceed to the big hall as queen announcement. Princess Tatiana's mother want to retire as queen. Tatiana, the oldest princess, is her right to is her, is her right to replace her mother to be queen. However, he can be he can, he can can be she be a queen in two places at once. She has to choose and, and she did her husband's decision. She can be a queen in two castles. She will give up her right as the future queen of the other kingdom what happened to her children. Princess has to think about the welfare of her three children and the right as the Prince George's children. She cannot do it. She cannot do it to them. Only think about herself. Drabia will be third to the throne and he will be king of her husband's kingdom. The twin will be queen of her father's kingdom one day, but she will stay as queen today for her own castle. Goodbye, my father. The prince's son. Jeremiah hugged his biological father goodbye and promised to come for the visit often to see her mother and his two twin sisters. Queen Tatiana took to the future king, Prince George, that now he is free to be with her second wife, Kate, and she can be her queen one day. The future king promised to come for a visit so the twin sister, twin princess and she and, and see them as often as they please. Few months after the king's funeral, the future King George got married and she had another baby princess called her Princess Jennifer. The King and the Queen of the Wonderland Queen Tatiana wandered along the castle as she is still a young princess and Ricardo followed her to their secret friendly bows. Then, and they made love and talked about their future together, but the unicorn they can find no more. In another time for the next princess to come, a virgin, they know they will be here again to witness the true love of the castles of Wonderland's princess. Then few months later, she announced to be to her mother that she, will, she would love to have a future king standing by her side and that if her mother agreed, that would be Ricardo, Jeremiah, biological father, her first love. Princess Christina and Princess Angelica, her twins, can be with her every day and learning to ride horses. The future father, King Ricardo, he can be their protector as her king, lover and the father to her children in the years to come. Her mother and Bruce had agreed to the proposal of the queen. They will get married and live happily in her castle and it will be for the rest of their lives. Lying in bed that night together, they remember the story of the unicorn and the two of them in, in the unicorn is the unicorn of the castle of Wonderland who at last found each other again at last. The preparation of the coming event has reached the future king and the other castle and congratulate the Queen Tachana that would love to come and be with her on uh, be with her on her own wedding. Jeremiah was so happy for her mother and father now will be husband and wife at last and become the first black king and marry the Princess Tatiana of the Castle of Wonderland. The years to come in the years to come Princess Jeremiah will be lead as black prince and will stand beside his father, King George, and raise his voice. I am Black Prince and Warlord and your protector. Re King Ricardo and Queen Tachana. Tachana will have more children and together they are black and white growing up in the castle of Wonderland of Africa. 
They will be surrounded by all kinds of animals. You name it. You name it. They will have it. First Jeremiah leading the castle of the other kingdom, and one day will be its future king. In many years to come, the two black kings will meet again in another time. See, guys, it's really wonderful story, isn't it? And uh, <clears throat> that's why I uh, <coughs> that's why I called it, you know, the black kings and the uh, unicorn princess. Uh, because it's really about uh, about the black uh, the black king of two castle and also the love affair of princess Tatiana uh, falling in love with the black uh, slaves and married the king of another kingdom and become his son his black uh, his black son with uh, with the slave become the uh, future king of another kingdom which is a uh, Prince uh, George declared to be his heir to the kingdom, and also because uh, King George also got uh, 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 you know uh, children, which is uh, you know old girls, and also Jeremiah is the boy of uh, her married to uh, he's married to Princess Tatiana, and uh, in the other kingdom, uh, was this the Princess? Uh, you know, Wonderland, uh, Castle of Wonderland. Uh, Tatiana married her, uh, married Ricardo again, uh, married Ricardo and become king of uh, uh, Castle of Wonderland. And one day they're going to have a black baby boy and become the heir to the uh, Castle of Wonderland. And all this story is um, is about uh, you know one day in the in this world we'll, we're going to have a black king a future king of of the castle we don't know where but one day it will happen and uh, hopefully we're still i'm still alive to see it and thank you guys and hopefully you love my story it's only in my imagination but i really ha i'm really happy that i finished it but there's still a bit of uh, additional uh, portion before we go to publish it and stuff like that. But uh, at least I've done it. And uh, you have to listen to my other my other uh, novel, uh, I'm Dying But Not Today, which is uh, like the part two of the survival instinct of a woman. And uh, and also there's another one in Tagalog, uh, was this um, uh, The Castle Lake. Kaso like, um, nasa, nasa Tagalog po yun. Uh, kaya, babasahin ko yun sa inyo so that you could, uh, uh, ano, uh, maganda din yung story na yun. Okay guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, uh, listen more to my story which I written it by myself and hopefully everyone loves it. Thank you, bye! I love you guys! See you soon!